Let's unbox my new vlogging camera. This is the Sony ZV-E10. I did a lot of research on what camera I wanted to get. I wanted one that was perfect for vlogging, obviously, because I do content creation. And one that took good pictures. Why am I struggling so much? <laughs> and this is going to be an honest, non-tech review. I'll include some footage from the camera in this video as well. Feel free to ask me questions below. I'll try to answer them all if I can. But on half of this side is like the accessory type stuff and then the camera. I will be honest, I did unbox it a little bit before and then packed it back up just so I could charge the camera because I heard a lot of people say that it did not come charged, so it is all charged now. This is like one of the, like the little wind covers, get that good sound quality. Sewing cord. I will have this camera linked below if you want to get the exact one I did. Charger. The bat no this isn't the battery this is to plug into the wall and then this is the battery if i love the camera and i keep it because if i don't i'm gonna return it um i would probably buy more batteries and accessories case and all that here is the camera she is stunning i feel like it's like the perfect size fits in my hand well has the flip screen here. It took me a long time to decide if I wanted white or black because the white was so cute, but I was like, the white will get dirty so easily. So I got the black, obviously. So I got like the little lens cover. And then if we turn it on. So far, all I've done is set up, um... oh, I need to put the battery Um, I set up like the time and stuff when I was charging it. Oh, she is just stunning. The quality, I'll probably record, record a little bit of footage immediately, like with the settings that it comes with or whatever, and then I will do some research on what settings are the best and then also do some footage there. And maybe I'll go outside too and try like the wind cover thing. I don't know if I should have that on at all times. Should I just put that on real quick? Okay. Yeah, so that was so easy to put on. Let me put my SD card in. I have two here I ordered a while ago before I plan on getting this camera. They're only 128 gigabytes. So you only get up to 20-ish minutes of footage. So I ordered a 512 SD card. I should probably get a couple, but that you can record more than an hour. So for now, we're just gonna stick this in here. It just has like the battery and then the SD card thing right here. Pop that in. Okay. Now it's just loading. I'm gonna start recording and I will insert this into the video. Let's see how well focus is. The lighting isn't super great in here, so that probably doesn't help. <laughs> and you can see my messy background. That focus is very nice. I'm gonna be curious to hear the sound quality. Why do I feel like it's so good? Okay, let me turn this around and show myself. Cause you know that's what we're all about is vlogging. Okay. I don't know how to hold this yet. I do like that when I'm recording that red button sound because otherwise I'd be like, am I recording? And this the square. I one thing I was a little about with this camera is I was like I wish I had one that flipped up the like the screen so I wasn't like looking to the side of myself I'd be just like looking up if I wanted to see myself but that's okay I do like that this one you could have like the fuzzy thing on there and then they also have um, a spot where you can plug in an external mic if you ever want to upgrade your mic even more and there's a spot I think to put a flash I think you can put an external flash on here I don't know how yet but if I decide to keep this camera, I'll probably get the external flash just so I have that. Because again, one thing this camera also did not have that some do is a flash. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of my iPhone 15 Pro Max and then the Sony ZV-E10. I don't have a tripod yet for this camera, so it's literally on a box, so it's hard to get a good angle. But here is what I look like. I'll go a little up close here. I will try to also like switch the audio and like put on the screen which audio is from which so you guys can compare it that as well. You guys will have to let me know what you think of the difference. I think I can tell right away that this one is not blurring out the background and this one appears to be focusing on me. And again, I need to practice a little bit more um, with the setting so I can figure that out. Let me try to like hold up a product so you guys can like see the focus difference. 
On the 15 Pro Max, this is what looks like. And then on the Sony ZV-E10, look how well it blurs out the background. I am now outside showing you this comparison. This is the front camera of my iPhone. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Hopefully you guys can tell the sound difference out here. It's kind of a warm day. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweater, <laughs> but I don't really want to face the sun or I'm squinting. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the back camera on my iPhone now. Now here I am on the Sony ZV-E10 and on the back of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm trying to make sure I don't step in dog poop right now. But again, just trying to walk around so you guys can see what it's like vlogging. It's not very convenient holding both cameras, so sorry if I'm partly cut off. And again, I can't see what I look like in the 15 Pro Max, so I have no idea if I'm in screen or not. This is my arm workout for the day. Hey guys, this is recorded on my Canon EOS M200. Um, I'm in front of natural lighting. The settings are kind of on auto right now. I did hear one thing about people saying like the sound wasn't the best quality, so you guys will have to let me know what you think about that. And the only other downside I heard when researching the camera was the bigger lens. A lot of the digital cameras don't have quite as long and big of a lens. I don't mind, um, but yeah. So something to keep in mind if you're interested in getting this camera. I think I figured out how to record in wide mode. Um, Wish I should have figured that out sooner, but here is some footage of it in wide mode. So you can see it's just more zoomed out and I don't have to like feel like I have to hold it very far from my face, you know what I mean? Which is really nice for vlogging and you get more of the background of what I'm doing. There is a lot of info online on how to do different settings and stuff, but if you guys want a video just talking about like the settings on what I do to make it look great or whatever, whatever I figure out, let me know and I'll make a video on that.